Hello and welcome to Prime News. Now look at the headlines. CAG cautions government on borrowing 70% of loans from securities to mature by 2020-24. Need remedial measures right now. Non-plan expenditure crossing limits alarms CAG. Union government rejected Goa government's mining package proposals five times. Modi government does it thrice. Prudent gets access to proposal copies. Bihar poll makes it. Goa denied. Enforcement Directorate reminds Mines Department to furnish details on illegal mining cases. It's 14-month long wait. Pending details hamper ED's illegal mining assets probe. Nerul Gram Sabha heats up. Villagers' reconstruction of demolished temple, reverting of Komnidad land, resolves to get deity statue reinstalled in temple. And Goa SIC recommends to get Komnidads and temples under RTI. Says Komnidad Registrar be appointed a PIO. Temple and Mela Committee should appoint PIO. Now the news in detail. Heavy state borrowing past three years have raised an alarm. If government doesn't take remedial measures now, by 2020-24, the state will be forced to borrow to repay its public debt. The CAG has cautioned the government. 70% of the loans on the sole state securities will mature by 2020-24. Including borrowings and other public account debt, borrowings touch 2,400 crores. Government pays almost 1,800 crores towards debt repayment. Non-planned revenue expenditure too has touched 75% mark. State fiscal indiscipline. A serious concern? Watch report. <laughs> The latest figures of state public debt shows that borrowings and public debt figure including borrowings from market, the centre and the public accounts has touched 15,000 crores, almost 1 lakh rupees per head debt burden. Government borrows almost 1,200 crores per year. CAG report has now cautioned the government that if the remedial steps are not taken, then by 2020 to 2024 the debt burden will be unsustainable government will be forced to borrow to repay the existing loans. State government borrowed 1,199 crores in 2013-14, 150 crores from centre, 994 debt on public accounts, that is total borrowings and public debt of 2,343 crores. In the same year, government repaid debt of 359 crores, 26 crores to centre and 495 crores on public accounts. Interest paid on debt 891 crores, that is total of 1,771 crores on repayment. With this, government is left with just 572 crores for capital expenditure. Not at all a healthy situation. The CAG has also expressed a concern about the state revenue vis a vis its expenditure, especially the non plan expenditure. Government's revenue expenditure, the revenue growth does not match the expenditure growth and the growth rate of the debt. Out of the total expenditure, 87% is the revenue expenditure, out of which 75% is a non-plan. Only 13% is left for capital expenditure on new projects. Salaries to army of more than 60,000 employees, pensions, grants, subsidies, interest on loan is taking a treasury toll. Moreover, government's money is blocked in 37 big incomplete projects. Several government's projects are left half done. With 80 odd departments, around 15 corporations except 5 others are running in loss. In last 30 years, every new government recruits almost 5,000 employees on an average. The army has touched almost 60,000. The monthly salaries, grants, allowances, pensions, gratuity, salary grants comes to around 250 crores, around 100 crores for debt repayment and to add to the vow, 7th pay commission is being enforced from next year. If the state of affairs continues, Goa is not too far from Greece. Bureau report, Prudent. 
Mining package to the state is almost a history now. In last three years, Centre has rejected Goa's proposal five times. The Chief Minister's proposal was placed before the UPA as well as the Modi-led NDA government, but none took any cognizance. Congress-led government has rejected it twice, while Modi government did it thrice. Government tries reducing the package proposal from 3,000 crore to 1,000 crore, but of no use. Prudent has access to copies of all five rejected proposals. Facing the Bihar poll, while Modi government assures 1.25 lakh crore package to the state, Goa gets nothing but a denial. Following the Bihar poll plan, Modi government has recently announced a package of 1 lakh 25 thousand crores. It seems Modi has soft corner for Goa. He considers Goa to be lucky, but his government did not feel it proper to help Goa post mining crisis, even with 1,000 CR. Prudent is in possession of copies of all five proposals sent by Parikar and Parsekar-led government to the UPA as well as Modi-led government. Mining was banned in state when Parikar-led BJP government was in power and Congress-led government at the centre. The then Chief Minister Manohar Parikar had sent a proposal to the then Prime Minister Manmohan Singh and then Finance Minister P. Chidambaram. He had appealed the centre to grant a package of 3,000 crores, considering weak financial position of the state post-mining ban, unemployment, bank loan and as an assistance to the mining dependents. However, the centre refused the proposal. Thereafter, Modi-led government came to power at the centre. Parikar had assured Goans that with BJP in the centre, proposals will be through just over a phone call. Being his party at the centre, Parikar asked for 3,000 crore worth mining package, 500 crore for convention centre, 500 crores for educational hub and 1,100 crore for Zuari Bridge. A total of 5,100 crore package. He wanted package to be part of union budget, but Finance Minister Arun Chetli denied, saying that proposal reached late. Later, Manohar Parikar was elevated as Defence Minister at the centre. Just two days prior to his resignation, that is on 6 November, Parikar moved another proposal to PM Modi. Drop the package from 3,000 crore to 1,000 crores. Parikar worked a special formula, asked Modi government to adjust 1,000 CR package against 252 crores dues of CST and 428 crores due to Goa from 13th Finance Commission. That means Modi government had to give just 320 crores as package. But that too didn't work out. Later on 20th November 2014, the new Chief Minister Lakshmikan Parsekar forwarded the same proposal to Finance Minister Arun Jaitley. That too went unreplied. The package is almost a history now. Goa has three MPs at the centre, two are union ministers. But still, none can get the package. PM Modi has recently announced package of 1,25,000 crore to Bihar following elections. Looks like Goa too has to wait for a state assembly poll. Senior reporter Lokik Shilkar for Prudent. 14 months have passed but Mines Department has not furnished any details to the Enforcement Directorate regarding the illegal mining cases in the state. Once again, the Enforcement Directorate has written to the Mines Department to furnish all the details of the mining leases. Sources say pending details from the Mines Department, Enforcement Directorate is unable to complete the investigation into illegal mining assets cases. Under Prevention of Money Laundering Act, Enforcement Directorate is probing loss of revenue through illegal mining to the state. On 26 May 2014, Enforcement Directorate had sought details of mining leases from Mines and Geology Department. But till date, Mines Department has not submitted any details to Enforcement Directorate. Once again, on 6 August 2015, Enforcement Directorate has communicated to the Mines Directorate to submit the details. Enforcement Directorate seeks details on copies of cadastral maps in respect of individual mining lease along with Kasara or survey numbers, copies of chartered accounts assessment report done in respect of individual mining cases, Copy of survey report done by Directorate of Mines and Geology along with satellite images. Details of production of iron ore in Goa provided by Shah Commission and PAC for period of 2006 to 2011. And 
Enforcement Directorate has asked the Mines Department to submit the details as soon as possible. 14 months have passed and the Mines Department is unable to furnish any details to the Enforcement Directorate, which has hampered the revenue evasion probe. Reporter Mahesh Gali for Prudent. Let's take a short break. Stay tuned.